Do you enjoy our YouTube content? Do you wish there was more? Well, now there is. Patreon.com slash Powercast Network. There you will find, just starting at $5 a month, more access to podcasts, to shows, to other saves. Check it out today, everybody. That's patreon.com slash Powercast Network. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another edition of This Day in Wrestling History. Today, we are covering August 21st, 1986. The World Wrestling Federation ran a show in Ottawa, Ontario, Canada, and that was at Lansdowne Park. There is only one match listed for that card, but it's a pretty big one, especially for 1986. The Macho Man Randy Savage faced Hulk Hogan for the World Wrestling Federation World Heavyweight title. I'm not sure the results. They didn't have any listed. But uh, for those of you that are unfamiliar, this was at the peak of Randy Savage's first heel run in the WWF. He would turn face, what was it, uh, shortly after WrestleMania three, So like in May of 87, he started turning babyface. That's where he ended up having that feud with the Honky Tonk Man. The World Wrestling Federation also ran that night in South Bend, Indiana, and they ran the Athletic and Convocation Center. Uh, I think that is of Notre Dame, but I can't be certain it wasn't listed. So this card, and it was a pretty good card, a house show. Corporal Kirchner faced Tiger Chung Lee, and for those of you that don't know, we just lost Cor uh, Corporal Kirchner just a couple months ago. Brutus Beefcake faced Jim Brunzel. I think this was just before they formed the Killer Bees. Uh, I think that's the timetable we're looking at. Or they just split them in singles matches. You know what? Now that I'm looking at it, they took the feud between the Killer Bees and the Dream Team that was Brutus Beefcake and Greg Valentine, and they split them into two singles matches. Because the next match was Greg the Hammer Valentine versus B. Brian Blair. There was a tag team uh, match. Nikolai Volkov and the Iron Sheik faced the American Express, which was Danny Spivey and Mike Rotundo. Barry Windham had bolted, leaving Mike Rotundo without a partner, so they put Danny Spivey with him. Tito Santana faced Mr. Wonderful Paul Orndorff, and then the main event was the Heenan family, which was Big John Studd and King Kong Bundy, and they wrestled the Machines, which was Big Machine and Super Machine. I think, ooh, you know, I think Big Machine was Andre the Giant. But I also thought that he was called Giant Machine. So I can't be certain on that. Uh, Super Machine was definitely mass superstar Bill Eady that uh, later on became Demolition Axe. So that was the action in the World Wrestling Federation on August 21st, 1986. Let's go quite a few miles southeast. Actually, not that far at all. I correct what I say. Uh, Jim Crockett Promotions ran in Cincinnati, Ohio at the Riverfront Coliseum. Mr. Electricity Steve Regal defeated Denny Brown in what was obviously a junior heavyweight bout. Crusher Khrushchev, the future demolition smash, defeated the Italian Stallion. Ivan Koloff defeated the Warlord. That's a young Warlord that was bouncing over from Central States Wrestling. Jimmy Garvin defeated Todd Champion. Todd Champion wasn't much, but he did have a great mustache. Ronnie Garvin defeated Nikita Koloff. The Rock and Roll Express drew Ole and Arn Anderson. Tully Blanchard defeated Wahoo McDaniel. And in the main event, the Midnight Express defeated Dusty Rhodes and Magnum TA by disqualification. That, folks, is one hell of a card for Jim Crockett Promotions. That is a huge card. Let's count here how many Hall of Famers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven Hall of Famers on that card and about six others that should be. So that's pretty impressive, everybody. 
Uh, I tried looking up Mid-South. Mid-South was not running that night. And unfortunately, my book for Championship Wrestling from Florida only goes up to 1985. So we just covered Jim Crack Promotions and World Wrestling Federation on this day, August 21st, 1986. I would consider them the big two of that era. So thanks for tuning in, everybody. We'll see you next time on This Day in Wrestling History. <laughs>